And we learn much more about the 10-year-old murder of a woman found thanks to her cowboy boots. Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. She was known only as Boots. Today, the man who found the Ohio woman's cowboy boots sticking out of the sand in Albuquerque's West Mesa testified in her accused killer's trial. In opening statements this morning, prosecutors told jurors it was Wesley Williams who shot and then buried Sandra Brady 10 years ago. News 13's Maria Medina is live outside district court with more. And Kim, 10 years later, and Brady's family is finally one step closer to perhaps getting some closure. It was January 2000 when Brady's family stopped hearing from her. She left Ohio in 99 just a few months before to travel to the Southwest. On her way to New Mexico, she'd met a man named Wesley Williams and started dating him. They know this because she talked about him in her postcards and letters. When she suddenly stopped writing, her family knew something wasn't right. Three months later, an Albuquerque man who was target shooting with his friends on the West Mesa near the Rio Puerco stumbled on Brady's body. In their opening statement, the defense told jurors the case against Williams is circumstantial, that there's no solid evidence linking him to the murder. But investigators say there was evidence at the makeshift grave that does link Williams to Brady's murder. Now, Brady's sister, Sharon Roberts, says Brady befriended everyone and that she was not a violent or mean person. She just wants to know why her sister was murdered. Hear from her coming up on News 13 at 530. Kim. Okay, thanks, Maria. Now, Brady's remains weren't identified until eight years after her body was found when America's Most Wanted did a segment on the cold case. Her daughter recognized her mother's tattoos and called police. Last year, police arrested Williams for using Brady's credit cards for two years after she vanished. He was later charged with the murder.